Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here, and for today's video we're taking a look at the Simple Note note-taking application. Uh, now before I get started, I uh, just want to let everybody know there will be a write-up along with links on how to download this app and, and some other resources uh, at my blog page, ajryzik.com. There will be a link down below so you can go to that page. And like I said, I'll have some links for some, some different resources and where you can download Simple Note, all that kind of good stuff. So, uh, let me go and drag over. This is the Simple Note homepage. And like they say right here, the simplest way to keep notes light, clean, and free. Simple Note now available for iOS, Android, Mac, Windows, Linux, and the web. Um, and that was part of my motivation for wanting to check out this uh, note taking app because it is multi platform. I, and I'm sure I'm not the only one that is in this boat. Uh, you know, I've got a Linux desktop, a Linux laptop, um, and then Android tablet, Android uh, smartphone. So I may want to take notes on one device and then be able to use them on the other. This application will allow you to do that. Um, and that's kind of been my issue with uh, some other um, uh, note-taking applications you know you've got Evernote but there's not a native client and you know there's been some some attempts at uh, at Linux clients for for uh, uh, Evernote and they're kinda eh, not all of them have really been good and plus I found that Evernote can uh, um, as far as syncing with uh, the desktop clients has a tendency to really lag so so that's kind of been an issue um, there's some great native Linux note-taking note -taking applications but you uh, you don't uh, you don't have the, uh, the the Android or the iOS uh, 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 application so that you can sync with those other devices so that's kind of been an issue as well so like I said, that's why I wanted to take a look at this one because you can sync with all devices and uh, uh, you know, so I figured, hey, let's give it a shot. Uh, Simple Note, their, their name kind of describes the application, Simple Note. It is a text-based note-taking application. Now by that I don't mean it uses text files, but there is no copying, pasting of images or, or things like that. It is all text-based. Now, you can do some basic, um, I don't know if you want to call it editing, additions, that sort of thing, because Simple Note does support uh, uh, Markdown. So let me go and uh, maximize uh, my Simple Note application here. And you've got a couple of different notes that, that, you know, as I've been playing around with the different ones here. And as you can see over on the left hand side, you can select which note you want to look at. Now this first one right here, you know, everything is all text, you know, uh, no formatting or anything like that. So, you know, um, I've just got all my notes for, uh, for my last blog post right here. Now I did go and select to use on this next one, I did select to use markdown on this so that is how I got you know this is a linkable text right here and then I've got uh, uh, each of those have h1 headers and then down here we've added emphasis to this part of the note right here and as you can see right here when you're running in the markdown uh, mode you get a choice between the preview which shows the, you the actual note the way it's supposed to look with the formatting and then you can go into editing and then you can see the various notations uh, so that you can do markdown now if you are not uh, familiar with markdown I have gone and on the blog post there are some links to um, you know the various formatting for for a markdown um, a lot of it is really basic uh, and let me kind of go back to what I did here. You know, for doing uh, links in in square brackets, I have put the title that I want to be linked, and then in regular parentheses, you put the web address. And then for headers, you just use uh, the pound sign, 
and then the, n the number of pound signs will determine the the level header level that you got so I got a you know just a single pound sign here so that's giving me an h1 header same thing down here now if I want to do an h2 header all I need to do is add you know another pound sign and I'll get a preview you can see that that changes it from an h1 header to an h2 header so things like that you know fairly simple formatting is is really easy to do um, but once again there's no images or, or things like this you know so if you are looking something where you can add images to it and, and things like that this is not going to be your application also if you want to be able like say with links you know just copy copy and paste from a website it ain't happening you're going to need to understand how to use markdown so that you can do this formatting in here so once again depending on your needs the application may not be for everybody so let's do a walkthrough of the interface it, and you know it's pretty simple here um, that's kind of their overlying philosophy on everything over on the left hand side we've got a list of all of our notes you just click on one to move to it and then right away go to uh, editing printing reading whatever you want to do with it um, and then we've got some sorting functions here you can search by tags you have the option of adding tags to all your notes so like say for example here on my to-do list I just tagged it with the to do for to-do list and then I got this one here where I tagged it uh, with uh, uh, Oh, I actually didn't tag that one. This one here, uh, I tagged with uh, kernel because it's about, um, you know, about uh, changing kernels in Ubuntu. So you can go up here and click on the tag button. It'll show you all the tags that I've tagged anything with. So let's go to the to-do list, everything for to-do. Um, and, you know, there's only one thing right now. But it would list, if I had other to-do lists, it would list those as well. Um, and then you know if you want to get out of this view you can go back to all notes and boom go from there so you've got that you can search by a keyword and then right here you have the option to go and add a new note and boom that's all she wrote uh, let's see uh, for our top bar menu really simple you got the file under file you got new note print preferences exit preferences not a whole lot here you can log in and log out of the account change your display settings uh, there is two themes a light and a dark theme there's the dark theme I'm going back to the light just uh, personally I think the dark one uh, isn't as readable and then under writing you can either enable and or disable the markdown and that's you know that's really it for your preferences edit got real simple stuff undo redo cut copy paste that sort of thing under view you can play around a little bit with font size how things are sorted the note display the theme once again and toggle to full screen and under window you can minimize and close and then under help we've got links to the uh, to the help and support and so oh, kind of coming over to the right hand side you can pull up the history on this particular note so if you need to go and restore a note from a previous version you can go and do that I believe they store 10 revisions you also have a, a share option here click on that and you can do a collaborate by email just type an email address and boom it's on its way um, and then um, you've got the uh, publish option right here you can make the link public Uh, you got a trash button and then over here you got info on this particular note so you click on that and you can see it's got uh, one of those last modified number of words characters you can pin this to the top and do you want to enable markdown for this particular uh, note and uh, you know for the most part that's pretty much it um, as far as performance wise it syncs really fast um, you know it's fairly easy to use you know the markdown part you know depend if you if you're not familiar with markdown a little bit of learning curve if you want to be able to do that 
um, but uh, you know for simple text stuff uh, it, this thing's easy to work with uh, as far as adding the tags you know I talked about adding the tag just come down here to the bottom of whatever note you're working on and you can see I've got the to do right right there if I want to add another tag I can just type it in right here you know and add another tag that way uh, the one thing I did not like was that when you're doing tags they have to be single words so like for example um, I've got these notes right here on how to migrate Google fonts to your own CDN um, I tried tagging it with the word with Google fonts as two words it made two tags actually and made Google and fonts so you'd have to add you know a dash or an underscore or something like that um, not a real big deal but um, you know just kind of something to keep in mind when you're doing the tags um, and you know that's essentially it oh um, let me drag over um, here's what the web interface looks like just so that you can take a look at that it's pretty similar not exactly the same but but pretty similar a um, few of the things are shifted around just a little bit but very similar so uh, overall impressions I like it um, as long as you are not looking for something that has a lot of features is this an Evernote replacement absolutely not it does not have near the features of Evernote however if you are looking for something where you can do just simple note-taking and sync it among various devices um, I think it's great um, once again with the the markdown if you don't know markdown you're gonna you know a little bit of learning curve if you want to be able to use those features but simple text notes you know boom easy to work with um, there have been no issues with the with the uh, desktop client as far as uh, glitches things not working not syncing all that kind of stuff so you know um, I'm very happy with it on that end so uh, I think that about finishes this video up as always leave comments questions all that kind of stuff down below and I'll try to get to them as soon as possible uh, once again I will do a full write-up on this application on my blog page and there will be uh, not only links to the simple note homepage so that you can download this if you want to give it a try but some links to uh, um, some pages on markdown so that if you want to try to learn how to use markdown you know and are unfamiliar with it you can give that a try so as always thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next video